So, uh, morning, day 252. We're still up this valley. Um, we're going to stay one more night here and then we're going to uh, head down this stream up another river, which will uh, lead us out of this area. A uh, small pass we'll go over and uh, then we'll be, uh, we'll visit some uh, museum. I think that's a towel back there. Um, we'll visit a this really cool mountain behind me if I can find it. Let's see. Um, we'll visit a some museum and a couple sites we want to visit, and then uh, tomorrow night we'll just drive overnight to get home by Friday morning. And uh, uh, I went from just wanting this trip to be over to being, at this point anyway, sad that it is um, despite all the the busyness of other parts of this region it's been relatively quiet where we're at considering how busy it is you know around here um, but it's a it's a place where it's really easy to think about um, you know the history of of Western exploration and then Western expansion and fur trade and prospecting and ranching and all that stuff. It's, um, I mean, these things were all true at home too. Uh, this is, I suppose, the more famous region for it. <clears throat> and so, interestingly, you know, we've seen, uh, seen and had good shots at uh, deer. Of course, we didn't take them because we're not hunting up here. But it was nice to know. Um, we hear the beavers slapping down in the, the creek and the marsh and the meadow and lots of little beaver dams. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, I would, I'm sure this, this valley got seen uh, its share of trappers and of course the waterfall and the hot springs, that must have attracted people and tribes and going way, way back. Really, really neat valley. Um, yeah, we were, I mean, two days ago, <clears throat> I was of the mind that despite all the history and interesting things up this way that I would never bother bringing the family up here and, and that's changed. Um, you know, I think I would. Uh, we took a, uh, uh, probably that's going to be too much more and that's not going to be eatable. Maybe it's warmed up, probably not, um, but maybe. Another. <laughs> anyway, um, we took a drive down the, uh, a section of the Snake River yesterday. It's just the sort of water you definitely want to put a boat in and, and see it from that perspective. But, I mean, looking at its volume and size this time of year, late in the season, um, it's incredible. The clarity of all the water here is much clearer than Colorado rivers, but then Colorado had a lot of mining and more sediment and it'll be people that say well you know there's such and such river in Colorado it's pretty clear and it's like well it's pretty clear and there's what you got here and of course then I mean the farther north you go the clearer it's going to be the less populated population there is the clearer it's going to be um anyway uh kind of had a funny two days ago coming in here there's this lady from Wisconsin really intently photographing a, a Holstein cow and uh, I don't know if she thought it was a buffalo or what, but the really funny part about it is the cow was just kind of looking at her, and then uh, all of its friends, all of the rest of the herd of cattle were like 50 feet behind her, just kind of staring at her, wondering what the hell she's doing. So it's kind of funny, one of those things, kind of one of those things you kind of make up a story and inside your head and, you know, imagine the conversations of the cows and, and everything about this lady, taking pictures of them. Um, but anyway, the uh, the moon came up last night nicely, and we tried to go up to the uh, the waterfall in the hot springs, but it was occupado, and so we didn't want to bother whoever might already have been there. So we might try again tonight, and we're going to go again today for sure. So anyway, waiting for coffee to cook. This Brenda's using this percolator thing. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if it's awesome, but it's there. She likes it, so. We're using it. But uh, the uh, 
old this uh, make it up here has been really nice this trip we used it at Trapper Days and using it up here and used the modification of it I'm starting to develop it into a tent we actually want to sell but yeah you look down the uh, meadows down there and it's really nice so anyway we're gonna enjoy today and thinking about what it would take so interestingly enough leaves are, are just starting to turn you know about probably about like Colorado in terms of like a little bit of yellow here a little bit of red interestingly aspens aren't, don't turn just just bright yellow they turn kind of an orangey yellow and then of course there's a lot of mountain maples here and so you get some really vibrant color in some parts of the area up here but you know a lot of the other stuff still the grass is still green and uh, we're just pointing, gesticulating wildly that yes, the, the percolator's starting to percolate, so <laughs> coffee's not that far off. Um, but, so, like, <sighs> greenery and leaf changing stuff, it's about the same as home. But, in terms of daylight, uh, the days are quite a bit shorter, noticeably shorter. The, the sun is definitely uh, slower in the sky in terms of warming things up, but then quickly gone. Uh, and we're not that much farther north than home. A few degrees, I have to look it up when we get home. Uh, but it's noticeably different, and the temperature is noticeably different. Um, it feels like uh, mid to late October temperature-wise. Very chilly. And uh, it's interesting that these plants, though, still haven't changed out. They're working on it. They're starting to. Uh, we've had uh, fog and frost most every morning, and it is really that. And now it's not to become cliche to say it because the that television show, but uh, um, you know, winter is coming. And I feel a little bit at home, you know, having you know, lived there my whole life, and, and uh, you definitely feel that you know it's coming, and it's coming a little early, and watching our harvest and stuff like that so you're really in tune to it but you come up here and man you really feel like winter's coming up here. and uh so we were talking about that last night like if we had just arrived to trap for the fall and winter up here or whatever you know we'd be behind the eight ball for sure we'd have to do some fairly intense hunting and and uh work on our winter shelter building and, and get it done because i don't imagine it's too many more weeks before they get snow here. But, uh, so anyway, it's day 252, and uh, really um, hard to do these videos again. But I'm working on it. Wrote in my journal on the last two nights. Don't know if I'm being very effective with the writing in it, but you know it's happening. And. Uh, You know, just trying to get back in the rhythm of this project, and hopefully that'll get me the insight I need how to deal with the next uh, freight train inspiration, which has not gone away. There's a lot about this trip that's intensified the desire for it. Um, but I think the next chapter in this piece of art, this life lived as choices, lived as a work of art. It's going to be a difficult one. Not as enjoyable as this one was at times. But um, I gotta think some more. So we'll talk to everybody later.